Hi there, my name is Amanda and I'm a certified professional dog trainer with Accomplished Canines Dog Training. I wanted to pop on and do a quick video for you guys today because I've been getting a lot of the same questions from a couple of different clients this week. And I figured if they have these questions then there's probably someone out there on Facebook who has the same questions too. So I thought it would be a good opportunity to go over some helpful information that would hopefully make your lives a little bit easier and make your dog's lives a little bit more interesting. So whenever I start working with a new client, we always talk about all different aspects of their dog's life. Um, what's the normal routine? And one of the biggest ones that comes up pretty consistently is how much exercise is your dog getting? And what I've found is that most of my clients are pretty good at making sure that their dogs are getting plenty of physical exercise, whether that's going for a walk around the neighborhood or going for a hike or uh, maybe a bike ride, swimming, chasing a ball, all of those kinds of things count as physical exercise, which is great. Physical exercise is definitely a big part of the equation, but it's just a part. So the other part of the equation that we talk about when it comes to exercise is mental exercise. Um, and what I found is that quite a few dogs aren't getting enough mental exercise. Their brains aren't being challenged or exercised on a daily basis. And that's something that I want to change. Because if you think back to why all of these different dog breeds exist, they were all created to do something. Your golden retriever was bred to help you retrieve the birds that you shot on your hunt, right? Um, your Australian Shepherd, well, he was bred to help you take care of your livestock, make sure everyone was in the right place. Um, your terrier was bred to hunt vermin, rodents, rats, mice, all those, those lovely little creatures, um, to make sure that your property was clean and safe. Um, for the vast majority, majority of us, we don't need our dogs to do those jobs anymore. I don't have a bunch of sheep in my backyard that I need my border collie to herd around for me. Um, I don't have to go hunting for my food. Uh, I live in a nice neighborhood. We do a good job of keeping the rodent population down on our own. So I don't need my dogs to go out and take care of those things for me. Um, and I think that's pretty common for a lot of us, you know, living in cities or suburbs around the US. So those jobs that our dogs were originally bred for, those are largely gone. But what still remains are the instincts in our dogs. If we don't give our dogs a job at home, then oftentimes they'll develop behavior problems. They might become destructive and chew up all your belongings when you're at work all day. They might develop a barking problem. Barking's kind of fun, gives you something to do. Um, they might just have trouble settling. I hear from a lot of clients that their dogs are quote unquote hyperactive. They can't sit down at night. They can't just settle down and enjoy a bone or a toy or anything like that. They're just, they're busy. They got to keep going. Um, so what do we do about that? One of my favorite solutions for this problem is to be proactive. Um, I want to give my dog a job to do before he finds one that he comes up with on his own. One of the jobs that I'll give my dogs and one thing that I recommend for a lot of clients is helping is um, teaching their dogs how to work for their food by putting it in a puzzle toy, right? Um, now, when I say that, some people get this look on their face like, oh my gosh, that sounds like a lot of work. It sounds messy. It sounds like my dog, you know, my dog's never done that before. What if he doesn't get it? That sounds like a waste of time, a waste of effort. Um, you know, the list of excuses can go on and on and on. Um, there are a ton of different options for your dogs out there in terms of puzzle toys and what's going to be appealing for some for some dogs and not others. Um, and that's okay. And some of them can be really easy and some of them can be really complicated. So I like having a variety. But the one that I'm going to show you today is super easy to use. It's easy to set up, it's easy to clean, and it's a great introductory toy for your dog if they're just figuring out how to do this stuff for the first time. Um, so the one I'm going to show you today is this one. It looks like just a regular dog bowl, but actually when I turn it over and let you look at it like this, you can see it has a bunch of different ridges inside. Um, it comes in different designs, which you'll see in a second. Um, and the goal for this is just to make your dog's meal a little bit more challenging to get out of the bowl 
than a regular dog bowl. <laughs> we call these slow feeder bowls for a couple because it slows your dog down, which we'll talk about more in a second. Um, I like this one as an introductory toy because it's easy. The food is right there in front of your dog the whole time. There's no compartments that they have to open or slide or, you know, I saw one the other day that the, the dog had to pull a string to get the button to pop up so that they could push the button and open the compartment. Um, I think your dog can definitely figure that out. But if he's never done that before, that's kind of like jumping from, you know, maybe arithmetic, you know, addition, subtraction to calculus, right? He might figure it out eventually, but there's going to be some struggle along the way, um, especially if you're like me with when it comes to calculus. That was not a strong suit for me in college. Um, anyways, back to this. <laughs> the um, So the purpose of this bowl is, like I said, just so that they have to kind of figure out how to get the food out of the bowl. It's really easy, the food's staring them in the face the whole time, there's nothing super weird about the bowl, but what they do have to figure out is how do they angle their head to get into all those little nooks and crannies around the bowl. So that part of it takes a little bit of doing and a little bit of mental wherewithal, right? Um, so, and like I said, the bowl also slows them down. I don't know about your guys' dogs. My dogs are pigs. They love to eat and they gobble whatever is right in front of them immediately. So I like this bowl because it also slows them down so that they're less likely to get sick after they eat. Because um, yes, that happens with my dogs there. <laughs> they have done that before on numerous occasions. Um, the other thing that I like about this bowl is that when your dog is done eating, you can just give it a quick wash, um, some little soap and water. You can even stick it in the dishwasher if you want to. Um, put it on the drying rack and it's ready to go for the next day. Nothing crazy to set up, nothing super complicated for you either. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to load these bowls up with my dog's dinner right now. And then um, put it down for them so you guys can see it in action. So I actually just made a new batch of their dog food. And when I put it in here, I'm going to try and spread it out so that it gets into as many of those little nooks and crannies as possible. Okay. It still works if you just dump it in one spot, but, you know, let's make it a little harder for them. Make them work for it. So while he's down here at the bottom, you can see both him and Scout. They got to spin themselves around to get the food out of that bowl. Okay, and sometimes they do it like in sync and it's really funny, but I haven't been able to catch it on video at the same time just yet, but I'm trying to. Okay, Gracie's got a little bit of an extra challenge here because she has such a smushy face. <laughs> Poor Frenchie doesn't have a nose that she can stick in those little nooks and crannies, but you know what? Given enough time, she figures it out. She likes to eat too, so not a problem there. We'll check out Turk here. Yes, as usual, he has picked out all of his spinach and spit it out. We'll come back to that later. <laughs> spinach and green beans. He wants to eat all of his turkey and liver and that stuff first, and then he'll come back for the veggies. Yeah. So normally, if my dog's food was just in a food bowl, my boys would be done. Wiley, Scout, and Turk all here in a row would just gobble it, it would be gone. 30 seconds, and then they're off to the next activity looking for something else to do. This one keeps them busy for a little bit longer. Now the Chihuahuas have a little bit of a disadvantage because they just don't get very much food because they're so little, but it still takes them a little bit to eat the, the food that they do get. Turk's still working on his meat. He hasn't come back for his veggies just yet. That's okay. Come over here again. Okay, let's see, in Gracie's bowl has all those different, um, they all have slightly different designs except for the two blue ones. Um, I got these bowls from Chewy.com, but you can get them in just about any pet pet food, pet supply store, um, and they're actually really reasonable. 
So these big ones that Turk and Gracie are eating out of, I think they were $13. And then these little ones that the Chihuahuas are eating out of, those were like nine bucks. So I like that. <laughs> Cheap is good in my opinion. And um, it's something I can reuse over and over and over and over again. Um, I didn't do it today, but what I have also done with these bowls is um, freeze them. So I'll put some kind of like really yummy treat in there for them. Um, like I've used um, mashed sweet potatoes before or um, bananas or just something kind of smushy and sticky. And I've loaded the bottom with it and then I've frozen it. So it becomes kind of like this thing where my dogs can just lay down. I think they all ended up laying down and they just lick at whatever's at the bottom for, for as long as it takes. That's another really cool activity to do, um, especially in the summer when it starts to get really warm.